Hello everyone. In this video, and I'll be continuing the last video. That is, I'll be taking up the definitions, uh, which are very important related to plant physiology. Whether it is CBSE or ICSE, very very important, very very important topic comes in all the exams, one way or the other. I will be discussing the definitions as well as the applications of those, of, uh, those definitions. The first definition is diffusion. Now, diffusion definition you are doing in chemistry also, but I will suggest that when we do it in bio, just uh, the terms would be changing, otherwise the definition is the same. Many students ask me that, ma'am, why to write this definition, not that one. The answer to this is that you are writing a paper for bio, not for chemistry. Simple answer. Now, diffusion. What is diffusion? The movement of movement of molecules from the region of high concentration to low concentration when they are in direct contact. Okay. Now, what is diffusion? The movement of molecules. Okay. Now here, starting out with all the definitions, I will be clearing one simple thing, a very important thing. Whenever I say that a solution is concentrated, it means that solution is having more mineral ions but less of water. We are going to talk about the water here related to all these definitions. If I say the solution is dilute, it means that solution is having less of minerals and more of water. Okay, simple example. Suppose we take a glass of water. That is a dilute solution. It has all water. The minerals which are dissolved are in a very less few quantity. Second, we take a glass of water and put 10 spoons, even one spoon of salt in it and dissolve. That is a concentrated solution as compared to water. Okay? Whenever we talk about these definitions of diffusion, osmosis, vector transport and all, this concept should be very much clear in our head that if we are talking about a concentrated solution, that means we are referring to the amount of water in it is less. And if we are talking about a dilute solution, we are talking that the water uh, level in that solution is more. This plays a very important role. I'll explain why. Now here in this definition I've said movement of molecules from high concentration to low concentration when are in direct contact. Example, suppose we take a glass of milk and add few drops of ink in it. What will you observe? That ink is concentrated, it has less water but has more dye that is blue. And suppose in um, suppose we don't milk, we take uh, water instead of milk, that would be more appropriate. A glass of water and we put a few drops of ink in it and we stir it. What will happen? That glass of water will turn blue. Why? Now, the movement has taken place of what? The movement of molecules, blue dye molecules have taken place from their higher concentration to their lower concentration when they are in direct contact that is the ink is in direct contact with the water okay this explains the definition these molecules which are talk which we are talking about are the ink dye molecules okay and a region of high concentration to the region of low concentration low concentrated solution is water high concentrated solution is ink okay so the molecules of ink ink not water. The molecules of ink have moved from their high concentration to lower concentration when both the solutions were in direct contact. Here I want to quote that diffusion is a very 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 important process 
diffusion uh, uh, like it's very important in human body it is very important in unicellular organisms it is a very important uh, process in plants also why because the diffusion of various substances like suppose uh, when we will study respiratory system the diffusion of gases through alveoli inside the blood vessel and from blood vessel to the alveoli will occur by the process of diffusion the movement of water inside the roots uh, or the movement of sap to the cells occur due to diffusion in uh, unicellular organisms uh, the unicellular for example amoeba the outside air the carbon dioxide oxygen from outside it diffuses inside amoeba that is diffusion so though the process of diffusion is very important whether it is uh, it is in multicellular organisms or in unicellular organisms in plants or in animals so this was the definition of uh, diffusion, a pure, uh, complete uh, explanation of diffusion. After that, we are going to take the next definition, that is osmosis. A kind of like very important definition. Osmosis. Okay, osmo means water. Now, here you will uh, like, I uh, will refer to the uh, whatever I have explained regarding to concentrated and dilute solution. What is osmosis first of all? Movement of water molecules. Now I have specified water molecules. The movement of water molecules from the region of their higher concentration to their lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane okay now some terms are very important here first of all if you don't, don't write this last line through a semi permeable membrane, your answer is totally wrong. Zero marks. Okay. Now, starting with the definition, I'll explain the definition. Movement of water molecules. In diffusion, what did I say? Movement of molecules. Now, when I'm specifying water molecules, that is the movement is going to take from a dilute solution towards a concentrated solution. How come? The movement of water molecules from the region of their high concentration. It means where they are more. From their high concentration to the region of their lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane is known as osmosis. Now the movement here will take place from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution. From a dilute. Dilute means water. That is it has less minerals but more water okay and when we say concentrated it means it has less water and more solutes okay so what is uh, osmosis specify here the movement of water molecules from the region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane now i'll explain you what is a semi permeable the definition i think is very much clear to you that is now here for example if suppose i give an example for example uh, you take raisins at your home go to your kitchen ask your mom to give you some raisins four or five raisins put them in a bowl of water okay and after two hours or even say one hour go inside the kitchen check on those raisins you will see that the raisins they have swollen up how do the raisins swell up raisins when we eat them do they have water no they don't have water they are just shriveled they are concentrated they have sugar but they don't have water when we place them in water what happens that outside in the bowl more water is there and inside the raisins the water is not there the water due to osmosis the water will move from its higher concentration to its lower concentration that is from the bowl to the raisins and through a semi permeable membrane the wall of raisins are going to act as a semi permeable membrane i'm going to explain the definition of semi permeable membrane after this okay is it clear to you now 
Uh, the definition I think is very much clear. We are going to take up semi permeable membrane now and we are going to take up some applications of osmosis which come as questions in board exams, whether CBSC or ICSC. What is a semi permeable membrane? Suppose we have here in this side of the beaker, we have a solution like we have a sugar solution. And in that side, we have water, pure water. Okay? And in the center, we place a membrane which is semi permeable. First of all, the definition semi permeable membrane is the membrane which allows only selected, it is also known as selectively permeable membrane. It allows only selected substances to pass through it and prevent the entry of the other substances. Now, these selected subscribed by if I specify that is water. The semi permeable membrane is freely permeable. It, it allows the movement of all the water through it, but does not allow the movement of solute. That is, for example, if sugar solution is there, sugar will not, not move. Molecules of sugar will not move. Water is going to move. Okay? If we say water, the only water is going to move through the semi permeable membrane. So, uh, the definition of semi permeable membrane is a membrane which allows the movement of selected substances to pass through it and prevent the entry of another other substances. Now, what will happen here? Here we have water which has more amount of water in it. Here we have sugar which has less amount of water, with, uh, water in it. Water is going to move through the high concentration through its from its higher concentration to its lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane. In diffusion, we have used the term when they are in direct contact, that is, there is no membrane there. But here we have a semi permeable membrane which allows the movement of only water molecules here. Okay? Now, these water molecules will move towards the sugar molecule until and unless both sides they become dilute. Both sides they have equivalent number of uh, water molecules. This was the explanation of osmosis. I am going to take up one application of osmosis. Uh, like reasoning one I have explained that why do the raisins they swell up when kept in water. This is explained like this. Now, this diagram or this concept which I am going to explain now it's there in CBSE books as well as ICSE books. Um, I'm sure you are going to get more of uh, knowledge from this. Suppose we take three beakers. In one beaker, we are going to keep isotonic solution. Second one, we are keeping hypotonic solution. Third one, hypertonic solution. First of all, what is an isotonic solution? Iso word means same. A solution which has same concentration as the concentration of the cell. Like what is, whatever is the concentration of the cell, same concentration is there outside the cell also. That solution is having same concentration as that of, uh, uh, of the cell. It means there will be no movement of water because bahar ka concentration as well as under ka cell ka concentration is the same. No, 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 is, no one is high, no one is less. So there will be no movement. Isotonic, if I say definition of isotonic, iso means same. It means the, uh, uh, what is an isotonic solution? A solution which has same concentration as the concentration of the cell. Okay. Second is hypotonic solution. Learn it like this. Hypo first of all means less. Okay. Hypotonic solution. Hypotonic solution. Ah, now. We are talking, in this solutions, we are talking about the concentration of water. We will keep in our head that we are talking about the concentration of water here. We are not at all bothered about the concentration of the solute. Water we must know. Okay? A hypotonic solution here, it has less amount of solute and more amount of water. That is, if in normal language I say, so a hypertonic solution would be a dilute solution. 
you can learn it like this also because in chemistry you are uh, um, uh, talking about dilute and concentrate solutions, it will be very much clear in your head. So a hypotonic solution is a dilute solution, learn it like this. And you all know what is a dilute solution, it has more water and less of solutes. Hypertonic solution, <coughs> it is a solution, hyper means more. And hypertonic solution is a concentrated solution, that is it has less water and more of solutes. This was about the three types of solutions. In these beakers, we, in one we have isotonic solution, in the other one hypotonic and the last one hypertonic. In this we place a cell, in this also we are placing a cell and in this one is we are also placing a cell. Isotonic solution, there will be no change as I have already explained that the concentration of the cell as well as the water or the solution is same, is equal. There is no change. When we place it in a hypotonic solution where the water is more and solute is less, the water inside the cell is less but outside is more. The water will start moving inside the cell. This will lead to swelling up of the cell. Okay? Increase in size. Hypertonic, if you are keeping in hypertonic solution, what will happen? Now cell is having more water but the concentration of water outside is less. Water will move out from the cell leading to the shrinkage of the cell. Okay? Very very important topic. You, this should be very much, something should be very much clear in your head. What is an iso, hypo and hypertonic solution? What happens to the cell? If you want to rectify it, it's your wish. But I'll suggest you make this concept clear in your head. When you are very much clear with concentrated and dilute solutions and the definition of osmosis, these questions will be very much easy to be like a flag. First one isotonic, no change. Second is hypotonic, more water outside, less inside. Water will move from its higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane of cell will act as a semi-permeable membrane. This will lead to swelling of the cell. Hypertonic solution, water concentration is less outside and is more inside the cell. Now the water will move from higher concentration to lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane and that will lead to the shrinkage of the cell. This was all about diffusion and osmosis and the application of osmosis and diffusion in plant physiology as well as in the animal cells. In our, in our next video, I will be taking up with active transport and the different terms like plasma resistance.